Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted a card for my mom for Mother's Day. If you're watching this at a time that's not near Mother's Day, just go ahead and use the ideas um, for maybe something else, another type of card. First I started off by taping off the outside and I did this kind of uh, uneven tape line just because I wasn't really sure where I was going with the background and I kind of like the jagged edge. Then I took my pencil and lightly wrote out Happy Mama's Day. Um, I call my mom Mama. It's kind of a, it's a very southern thing, but and then I used a pen that I had bought in Italy to go ahead and ink it. And I realized later that my ink was not waterproof, which is not such a great thing when you're trying to do a watercolor card. Additionally, I'm still trying to get used to writing with this pen, and the watercolor paper I'm using has some tooth to it. It's a cold press paper, so I did get a little bit of pen splatter on the bottom. Um, and next I'm just starting out by drawing the, the floral design I'm going to be using. It's kind of like a garden theme. Um, supplies I'm using for this are obviously a pencil. This is just a regular Bic mechanical pencil. I'm using some ink and a pen to write with. You could use like a Sharpie or something if you didn't have this or even watercolor to do the, the writing with. Um, I am using a mix of Van Gogh and Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors for this card. So these are student grade paints. And I think, of course, the card itself is um, Canson watercolor. It's actually the paper and I cut it down to card size because I had ran out of cards themselves. Um, I'm also going to be painting the envelope, and this is like a, a thin watercolor envelope. It's made by Canton. I just had more envelopes than I had cards, which happens to me a lot. I think that's all the supplies I used. I did end up using, or trying to use, a Sakura white jelly roller at the end, but the ink wouldn't come out, so I just used a little bit of white watercolor paint to do highlights. All told, I painted the outside of the card, I painted a small design on the inside, and I painted the envelope. And it took me about two hours, which actually was a significant amount of time, and that's kind of because my cats were just being naughty the entire time. But to talk about the painting techniques I used, if you noticed from earlier in the video, I painted the petals kind of individually. So I don't paint the entire flower first, and I like to paint the petals individually and the leaves individually and let them dry and go back because then you'll kind of end up with a water line around the petals or where the ink or the watercolor is a little bit darker and I kind of like that effect for painting flower petals so oftentimes I'll paint petals individually and I'll skip petals so the petals don't touch and that kind of gives you a natural um, line of separation between the petals that it's kind of a kind of a nice way that I like to use to achieve petal separation. And then I go back and I let the card dry and a lot of my time was drying time on the card. And here's where I'm trying to use the jelly roller, but I let the, the card dry and then I'll go back and add finer detail over and over again. Um, and here I am, I'm taking the card off because I was happy with the front and I'm actually gonna paint a, just kind of a vine and floral design on the inside. So of course I painted this card for my mom, and my mom is a wonderful, wonderful person. I love her so much, and I just wanted to spend a little bit of time and do a little bit of extra effort to make her something pretty for Mother's Day, especially because I couldn't be there. And I wanted to remind her that she is awesome. So um, she always, always, always had beautiful flowers when I was growing up. And some of my favorites were the ones I painted on the front of the card, and I'll actually be painting them on the envelope, and you can see one of them in the background, are tulips. And they're not actually, like, my mom's favorite flower, or ones that are particularly strongly associated with her. She only had a few, but she's had these tulips ever since I was a child, and every spring, the most gorgeous tulips would just blossom in the side garden, and they were just so, so pretty. And so tulips kind of always made me think of her and her garden, and I just, they always made me think of spring as well. They're a spring flower, and Mother's Day's in the spring, but I hope that she enjoys her card, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching me paint this card. I had a lot of fun doing it, even though my kittens were very, very naughty <laughs> the entire time and knocking things over. Um... I really like painting cards like this, and I hope to paint some more in the future. 
and film them and put them up on this channel to inspire other people to maybe paint some cards for loved ones. So this is what the end product looked like and hopefully about now some other videos for my channel would be popping up on screen. If you like this video, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up to let me know that you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.